It's Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News at noon on a Thursday. More controversy coming out of Dillon. The voter guide for the upcoming Lakeview condo vote is incomplete and maybe even misleading. That is the claim made by several residents at a special meeting this week. Dillon Town Council called that meeting to review the ballot question. Some on council did not want residents to speak. Citizen complaints focused on what's allowed at the Best Western property and what Detroit developer Jake Port is pitching. Port does not own that property, which is actually four separate sites. Three years of preparation and three weeks of installation are bringing wetlands back to Keystone Ranch. It's part of the Swan Mountain Project just approved this summer. We have some fuels reduction work, we have some recreation enhancements, and what we're here today for is actually some wetland restoration work, and that's the first piece of that project. That was Amanda Wheelock with the Forest Service. The historic wetlands there at Keystone Ranch were plowed over in the 1920s for farming. Summit Community Care Clinic has a new CEO, it's third in less than a year. Josh Codgill joins the nonprofit from a national OBGYN provider. He takes over for Dan Becker, who is stepping down for health reasons. The I-70 Mountain Corridor is peppered with single-lane closures today. You might see backups on Bale Pass, where CDOT is scrambling to button up work on the west side and the rest area before winter. In Glenwood Canyon, one lane eastbound is still closed for debris left over by Tuesday's semi-truck crash. Frisco and High Country Conservation Center are test driving electric vehicles this Saturday at the Adventure Park. You are welcome to come drive an EV for free. EVs, they're gaining ground here in Summit. Just over 1,000 are registered these days. That is top five in Colorado per 1,000 people. Pitkin and Boulder counties, they have the most. A 24-year-old Thornton man will face federal assault charges for allegedly speeding through Rocky Mountain National Park last week and smashing into another car. His victim claims serious injury. A study from the nonprofit Common Sense Media claims a record number of American high schoolers are using AI to help with school work. Early this year, it was 7 in 10 high schoolers. Last year, 5 in 10. Most are using generative writing. Local fire danger remains high today in Summit. Still no fire restrictions. Firefighters are battling gusty winds, but feeling good about the Pearl Fire west of Red Feather Lakes. That's about three hours north of Summit. That fire has not grown since it started, holding on 128 acres with 5% containment. In local entertainment news, tonight in Breckenridge, it's opening night of the Breck Film Fest, showing Casa Bonita, Mi Amor. It's at the Riverwalk Center. That's the story of Denver's favorite campy Mexican restaurant revived by the South Park guys. Breck Film Fest, it's happening all weekend. Tomorrow night at the Riverwalk is the always popular Adventure Reel, featuring local skier Drew Peterson and his documentary on trail running and depression. And in local sports, brought to you by Cassandra Schultz and Associates with American Family in Dillon, the Summit High Boys soccer team, they're out at Battle Mountain today on the road. Phil Lindemann, Crystal 93 News.